Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrunning Tutorial. This video is on level 16. The tears on this level spawn pretty quickly, but I'm actually going to recommend we go for keys before the tears. The tear timer is running and that may be intimidating, but notice you have three minutes on them. That's more than enough time to go for the keys. Uh, the rooms that the keys are in are actually pretty difficult to go through. If you're spending more than three minutes trying to get a key, you're probably dying and the tear timer is resetting anyway. So I think it's worth it to go for the keys before the tears. Uh, for this first room, you can either jump to the platform directly in front of me and then to the platform behind, or you can jump directly to the platform behind here. It's up against a wall comfortably, so you can just hold forward into it, and then prepare a jump to the next platform. When you're here, there are turrets that are shoot shooting at you, but you're actually at a pretty good angle to just fire some rockets and probably take them out. Uh, there's a skip you can do on this platform to get right up here to the next key. Alternately, if that one is too hard for you, you can go to the little middle area right here and go to the next platform, and this one is much easier. Uh, if you continue along the path as intended, there are other platforms here you would jump across, and honestly, jumping across those platforms is much more difficult than the skip I showed right here. I recommend just, when you're starting out and not super comfortable with jumps, just take this ramp up here. It's very, very easy to make that jump and then continue to the key, and head out, and go mend the first tear. Uh, you can either climb up this the intended way, uh, or there are a handful of ways to skip up here. Personally, when I'm coming out of here, I strafe up this ramp to get here, strafe up this ramp, and then this one, and I try to jump all the way up, but if I can't, I just hop on this ramp here and I'm right there already. Grab the health if you need it, and mend the tear. Um, I'm not usually at no ammo at this point, so I'm going to hop over here and grab this ammo pack real quick. Uh, now one thing that you may have noticed is uh, I'm using rockets in this level, which I don't usually. If you drop down here to the entrance to the next tear, you get the third and final rocket upgrade in the game. If you don't have the fully upgraded rockets at this point, you're going to run into problems in the next couple bosses. But you should have the final rocket upgrade. Now, normally, I say that the rockets are too hard to use, they go all over the place, uh, they frequently just fly into walls, into the floor, or whatever. But once you have the final rocket upgrade, you're shooting so many rockets that some of them are bound to hit whatever you're aiming at. And so, at this point, I just use rockets for the rest of the game. So yeah, come in here, shoot the turrets down, mend the tear. Now, one thing I will say, normally I do go for the next key before mending the tear. However, if you're worried about your life count, you can uh, climb this hill again, getting up to where the first tear was, jump across this little platform here and mend the tear if you want, and then pick up this life before going to the next key. Like I said, the platforming towards the keys is difficult, so having the extra life might be nice. I'm gonna leave that tear for a minute though. But if you want to mend it, then you can. The path to the next key is harder. Uh, you don't have as many walls that you can lean against, so be sure you do a lot of strafing uh, to keep yourself on the platforms. Again, there's turrets here, but you can just rocket them pretty comfortably. Uh, there's another skip in this section. I do it on this ramp right here. Uh, if you angle yourself right, even if you fail the skip, you can 
fail it in such a way that you drop down right here and try again or move on. So be aware of that, but that is the platform I usually do the skip on. If you're not doing the skip, you need to come all the way around here. This platforming is a little bit easier than the end platforming in the other key section, but it's still a little difficult. These rooms are really tough. I, I do recommend practicing them quite a bit before trying to do any full runs. And then, after collecting the key, just like the other uh, tear, just uh, jump up these ramps to get up to the top. If you need health, there's some right here. Now, this level has one of the very few instances of being able to enter a vid window before the vid window cutscene plays. If you have voice lines turned off, this won't work. The, the vid window cutscene will play immediately after mending the tear. But if you do have voice sound effects turned on, then after you mend the tear, the computer voice will say, uh, tear mended, area clear. And during that time, as you'll see here, you can drop into the vid window before that line ends and before the cutscene plays. The fact that that cutscene doesn't play saves, I don't know, two or three seconds maybe. Uh, but it's a nice, easy time save that I like to go for, at least. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or ask in the Discord.